Hey, what's up everybody? This is Like It's 1985, and this is a toy haul video to show you what I picked up over the last week. Uh, first, I went to a Walmart, and then I also went to a TJ Maxx and a Toys R Us. So first up, from Walmart, I picked up this. This is the Autobot Armor Top Spin, which is of course a redeco, repaint of the original uh, Top Spin. And I have to say I love this color combination. This uh, essentially what is a black and gray colored vehicle. And I, that's one of my favorite uh, color combinations, black and gray. So I had to pick this up. In fact, I, at one time I was thinking of going on to eBay and picking it up, but uh, I resisted that urge because, you know, of course, when you pick it up off of eBay, you add in shipping costs and the figure goes up in price. Uh, but I happened to be just looking for some other toys and I found this on the pegs. So I'm really happy to get this repaint uh, of the original top spin. Uh, looking at the back, you can see there is a look at robot mode, uh, which is looking nice as well. So I got that. That was the only thing I got from Walmart that I found of, of, of interest. Uh, then I went to a Toys R Us. And at the Toys R Us, I picked up some Iron Man related stuff as well as some other uh, neat stuff as well. And uh, I've been really sort of on a Iron Man kick. In fact, I was really uh, wanting to get like a Hot Toys Iron Man figure, but you know, it's just, you know, $200 at least, uh, if not more. So, uh, anyways, I was watching some reviews. I watched, actually, some re a review of the Iron Man, the Armored Avenger, Hulkbuster Iron Man, the very same day I found it in my store, at local at my local Toys R Us store. And, uh, yeah, this is a really cool figure. Uh, this is uh, $15, so it's not really cheap. Um, they actually had some other figures from this Armored Avengers wave. Uh, they had Titanium Man, the Iron Man figure, as well as Stealth Iron Man, I believe. Uh, I did not pick those up. I'm going to wait to see if I can find them cheaper uh, elsewhere. Uh, because, you know, uh, Toys R Us, they mark up their prices uh, at least by, you know, 3 to $4 over their competition. Um, so if I can find them at a Walmart or somewhere cheaper or even better yet at a, at a discount store for half price, <laughs> uh, I will pick up the other figures from the Armored Avenger line. Uh, but I really wanted to have this figure, Hulkbuster Iron Man. Really cool looking. And I will be doing a review on this particular figure. So, pretty cool. So I got that. And then, also in the same line of Iron Man craze, I picked up this. Now, this is sort of the uh, trifecta of, of what I look for in a figure. It's a sports car. Love sports cars. It has to do with a Transformer. Love Transformers, and I also love Iron Man. So I picked up this. This is the War Machine Transformers crossovers figure. As you can see, it's a nice looking sports car. It has uh, glow-in-the-dark features. And I have to say, this robot mode looks good. If you're familiar with the Transformers crossover Star Wars figures, the mech designs always, well, I shouldn't say always, but most always are terrible. But this works. I think, in my opinion, this mech mode or robot mode works uh, because you have uh, a pretty good representation of War Machine. And you can imagine that this would be sort of a, uh, a believable uh, transformation. So I, I, I really like that. So sports car, Iron Man, a Transformer. I mean, I had to get it. Uh, this particular figure was $20 at Toys R Us. So you figure at other stores it's going to be around $15. And uh, so yeah, this is really cool. So you can see that uh, it has a glow-in-the-dark uh, arc reactor, as well as the eyes uh, apparently are supposed to glow in the dark. So that was pretty cool. And then uh, lastly at Toys R Us, uh, I picked up this. This is a uh, you all you all have been uh, who have been following my channel recently know that I've been on a Masters of the Universe Classics kick. Well, here we go. I got the two-pack. Uh, this two-pack, I believe, was normally around $30. Uh, this was on sale as a Toys R Us exclusive for $20, so $10 per figure. And most of the time, you know, the DC Universe Classics figures are around $15 each. So, uh, because I was into, or I am into, Masters of the Universe Classics at the moment, I decided to pick up this two-pack, and because it was on sale. 
Uh, that was really the, the deciding factor. It was on sale, uh, which essentially means it was $10 per figure. And I like how uh, Mattel has been packaging these uh, face-offs between uh, the DC Universe and the Masters of the Universe. And this is a particularly good face-off because both of the characters here are have flight characteristics. You know, Hawkman has wings and, uh, you know, uh, Stratos here has the uh, sort of the feather on his uh, forearm, and I believe he could fly too as well. So that is nice. It has a uh, mini poster included, as you can see there. And it has, you know, the, uh, the uh, DC Universe Classics packaging on the left half and the uh, Masters of the Universe Classics uh, packaging on the right. And on the back, it has a really nice, uh, has really nice artwork uh, depicting Hawkman and Stratos. And uh, they have the uh, bio, as usual. Uh, here they have it in the DC Universe Classics text. You can read that if you'd like. And uh, Stratos, uh, with the design from the Classics, uh, Masters of the Universe Classics uh, line of uh, packaging with the bio there. So I got that uh, for $20. So finally, I went to a TG, uh, TJ Maxx. Uh, TJ Maxx is basically uh, mostly a, uh, a clothing store, but they also happen to sell uh, toys on clearance. And I just so happened to find uh, some more Iron Man related figures. And without further ado, here they are. These are rather big figures. I picked up both the War Machine and the Mark VI Iron Man. And this, uh, these figures are actually pretty tall. Uh, here is a soda can here in comparison with the figures, and you can see how tall they are. So, uh, pretty cool. These are just, uh, I mean, obviously they're not going to have a lot of articulation. I wouldn't expect it. To, I will review these probably as, a, as one review, uh, sort of a double feature review. Uh, but we take a look at the Mark VI Iron Man here. Uh, comes with this like uh, uh, his little uh, what do you call it the well they call it the mis missile blasting robot arm. Well, there you go. <laughs> so you got, you have that feature there with the uh, the missiles in the background there. Sorry for the glare. Um, it has electronics uh, with light up features and uh, sounds. Look at the back of the package here. So. These two figures, uh, well, first of all, I saw this figure at Toys R Us for $25. This figure, these two figures, I got for $10 each for a total of $20. So <laughs> it really pays to go to your your local uh, discount stores and try to find uh, some of these figures you know, there as opposed to paying the, uh, especially at Toys R Us, the outrageous retail prices. So... It, it definitely pays to look at those discount stores, even thrift stores uh, sometimes will have really uh, incredible savings uh, on some of the uh, figures. So yeah, I got the War Machine as well uh, from the same line. This is the Iron Man, the Armored Avenger line. And this is a look at the War Machine. And you can see it does come with, looks like a, a large uh, uh, Gatling gun type of thing. A uh, little missile effect part there. And in the background, you can see his uh, ammo clip and some other uh, uh, missile pod back there. And basically, everything is super sized. I think we, I've seen, I, I could have sworn I've seen this particular weapon here in a three and three quarter inch or maybe even a six inch uh, scale. Obviously, these figures are tall. Um, again, bring in the pop can there. These must be, I don't have my uh, measuring tape close by, but these must be at least 10 inches, if not 12. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll do a review on these uh, two figures as one single review. Uh, but they are pretty cool, and for $10 each, why not? I mean, even if they lack articulation, they will make great displays on my shelf. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Alright, well, this has been a look at my toy haul for this week. And I uh, found some pretty cool stuff. Uh, found some good savings, with, especially with these guys right here. Um, so I'm really happy to pick those up. And uh, until later, I'll catch you later, and have a good day.